Hey guys, I'm back again with the seascape painting. So, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you get to see more of this kind of painting and my other DIYs. So today I'm just using these four colors here. These two are the same, but uh, these are the four colors that I'm gonna use. I'm also using sand and uh, some sea salts and of course the resin. And also I'm gonna use uh, just a plain glue like a school glue so here i started uh, applying lighter bluish color there and uh, as i'm gonna work on the bottom of my canvas i'm gonna keep making that uh, blue darker and darker so i'm gonna keep using darker colors there so enjoy watching and if you have any question just leave a comment down below and uh, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe again and uh, thank you guys for supporting all the time and uh, keep watching. <laughs> Alright, so here I'm done with my painting. Now I'm gonna work on my sand area. So here I'm using school glue and I'm just mixing. I'm just adding uh, this sand little by little because I'm trying to make this mixture uh, as thick as possible so that it's not that runny. And I'm just gonna keep adding more sand here and then, then I'm just gonna mix more. And then I'm just gonna pour it on the just a white part on that bottom area so i know it's about to get messy so that's why i grab a plate and then i put it on the bottom of my painting so i started spreading it with my uh, spoon but it was a little bit hard to do it with the spoon so i uh, i was using my finger to spread that a little bit and also use my palette knife I really wanted to make it look more like a globier more uh, realistic uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say but uh, that's the word that I find right now but uh, that's why I use whole lots of sand here and uh, now I'm just spreading it and I also did the sides on that corner especially because i really want it to look looks like uh, all the edges everything is all together and it was a little bit hard to do the edges but uh, it take a little time but uh, it, at the end it worked great So I really didn't want to use too many cells, sea cells here. So I just used maybe a couple of the sea cells and uh, and uh, some different type of sea cells too. So I didn't have any uh, starfish. So I also wanted to uh, create a shape with air dry clay. So here, this is what I have and I'm just... Uh, making ball first and then i'm just gonna press it a little bit on my plate here like this 
at first it was very hard to create this shape uh, I mean I don't want to say hard but it was a little bit trickier to create this shape because I never did uh, this before this is the first time I'm using air dry clay to create sea cells and like I said the shape is a little bit trickier but uh, at the end it turned out very nice I like how the way it turned out so I'm just gonna make it I'm trying to make it nice and smoother here and then I use a uh, back of the brush and that was a little bit bigger hole so I try to uh, use a pen and I just make a like hole tiny little hole everywhere on my uh, starfish I wanted to add two starfish here uh, on this painting so I created two of them one is a little bit bigger which is this one and I also created one more which is a little bit smaller than this some resin on my painting so so many of you ask me what resin I use so this is the brand that I use it's uh, to be honest it's a tabletop uh, resin and uh, this resin uh, I've been using for almost couple years now I can also put that painting outdoor and uh, so many for so many of you uh, said that the resin turned yellow yes for me uh, when i used to use different brand uh, that are specifically made for art and craft that kind of resin uh, turned yellow for me and this is not turning yellow for me so uh, i really uh, recommend this brand no one is sponsoring me but uh, i'm just uh, recommending this product because it's very great so here i already uh, applying this resin i just uh, mix those two part of the resin and then i just uh, pour it on my canvas and i really didn't want to make it too thick of uh, resin coat so i'm just adding slightly a little bit of resin here and then i'm just gonna use my finger to spread that all around and to create the shoreline uh, i'm mixing a little bit of uh, white acrylic paint into my resin and then i'm just gonna use my spoon here to just pour it on my uh, canvas here just on a random places have any heat gun so i'm gonna use my hair blow dryers so many people think that it doesn't work but for me it's working so i am using my hair blow dryers here to move that white uh, resin around and to make it more looks like it's more real and i like how the way it moves uh, everything i this part is always satisfying to watch all right so after i'm done with this part i'm just gonna use my finger to go around the edges so that uh, my resin is also on that uh, edges area and it's nice and smooth 
all right so here i'm just gonna keep adding more and more uh, resin here for me it's very hard to stop so i'm just gonna add some more uh, white resin there and then i'm just gonna keep moving all those uh, things around and by the way if you are new to my channel uh if, just go ahead and check out my new etsy shop i just updated uh, with the, some more new product there so go ahead and check that out and before you forget uh subscribe to my channel to see more of this kind of uh, painting and the all right so now it's time to add my starfish there i'm just adding it on that corner there and uh i already have that resin there so i'm not using any uh, other stuff to glue it that part but i'm just using two of these starfish one is the big one and the small one there and yeah i'm all done with this uh painting here i'm just gonna let it dry overnight all right so this is the next day and this is how it looks like it looks uh amazing i like how the way it turned out if you guys like this video go ahead and uh give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel to see more of this kind of a painting how i do it and also check out my etsy shop thank you for watching and if you have any question just leave a comment down below and uh, i will see you next time bye